great beauty of Rome but I would say great power of Rome because when I succeed Rome humbles me and when I face difficult moments in my life Rome shows me that everything is just dust and for real comparing with him everything is dust Roma is female but for me Rome is old wise gentleman so let me introduce you my morning Rome but first let's have a coffee Morning is my favorite part of the day because it's the calmest part of the day and I like to be alone, it's very recharging for me, I like to plan everything, so I often come to this place. I'm always taking Americano, but I never specify a type of coffee, Mark, it, I leave it up to Marcos and he always surprises me with incredible flavors. So for everyday use, I like to wear two rings together. Um, I don't know, for some formal evenings I will prefer one important gemstone per hand, but for, for everyday casual I like to combine two rings. And here I have an iconic design of Bulgari, parenthesis. This is actually a very important ring because it's beginning of industrialization in jewelry world. And um, I mean, you know, we've, we've 80s changed a lot in jewelry business and we, we can, you know, call it also revolutional moment. So I really love this design. And uh, here I choose a swell Bulgari ring with emerald, very casual, um, a gem of the gems. I like the meaning of the emerald. It has a lot of meanings in different cultures and different religious, religions. But I also like some, you know, like mystery, shadow of an emerald and uh, so that's it um, here I have a piccolino of Rolex and who knows me knows that I wear this watch particularly this watch quite often this is the smallest chronograph ever made by Rolex we are back in the 30s uh, rose gold black dial it's extremely rare so and I love it so it's a nickname piccolino like a baby you know it's named by Italian collectors and it's quite it's quite rare and important one here I have uh, Angela Cummings earrings no sorry they are Tiffany they are Tiffany designed by Angela Cummings and I like a combination of yellow gold and vivid uh, blue of lapis lazuli I like this asymmetric design it's quite bold and powerful in a way and I like that women design it so it's it's important. I would like to use this perfect opportunity to invite you to an exhibition an exhibition of one of my favorite fashion photographers Helmut Newton and it's just around the corner so before to go to work let's go to get some inspiration. Sometimes in Rome is sunny, for your information. <laughs> So Easter is very soon, so it might be, uh, you know, your your postcard for Easter. 
No, I'm just kidding, but it's stunning. She's a stunning woman and made a lot for jewelry business. I'm sure you know. Look, the same, the same coat, the same leather jacket. Just kidding, I cannot compare myself with him. Ah, but with him, maybe yes. We dance more, more or less, you know, in the same style. This is one of my favorite artworks of Newton. And if you will come closer, you will see an absolutely stunning Bulgari creation, Bulgari diamond necklace, an incredible one, one of the most beautiful necklaces which exist really. And I know where this necklace is resting. So Ariel, if you, in case you see this video, in case you don't know what to do with this necklace, you know where to find me. An absolutely iconic artwork Elizabeth Taylor in her famous jewels, in her famous emerald earrings and necklace which now belongs to Bulgari and if you are lucky sometimes it's in Bulgari Museum on an exposition so sometimes we're, we are very lucky we can see this necklace. Uh, it's incredible and I feel so honored and so humbled that we, you know, this year we had a piece from, not from Elizabeth Taylor, but also with very important provenance from the same collection with Colombian emeralds from 60s. It's really, it's an artwork, it's a masterpiece and I'm very, very privileged that we had an opportunity in first year of Jewel Syndrome already to deal with so important jewels. You know, we in Jewelry, we are also very connected with fashion industry and we really love it because jewels are about beauty and about your outfit, you know, and I cannot get enough actually of this outfit and Zendaya's last appearance in it. You know, we, we, it's from 95, here the picture made in 95 and we had this opportunity to see it this year in an incredible way. And Zendaya is just perfect for this. I love fresh flowers. I always decorate our office, home. I always settle the table for celebrations, you know, when we, we celebrate something in the family. And of course, a good supplier for flowers. It's very important for me. So here is my florist. So we just will go inside and we will choose some flowers, some fresh flowers for the store. So look at this beauty around flowers are incredible is one of the most beautiful things in the world beauty of nature and here I both choose I, I, I both trust a choice of a florist or when I get inspired and feel a little bit of creative moment I'm combining flowers by myself I'm buying here both for store and for home and uh, so that's it. A <laughs> quelle rosa? Sì. Ok. Poi gli altri fiori freschi sono le pensi, gli anemoni. Ok. Le peonie, queste sono le prime. Oh, che belle! We are taking these flowers, these ones. Very beautiful purple color. I'm into dark colors this spring. I don't know why. I don't know. Beautiful deep dark colors. We are in the heart of Rome, where you can feel a real energy of the city, Spanish steps. There is the main street of Rome, Via Condotti, continuing with Via Fontanella di Borghese. There, Watches in Rome is located, so just let's go there. May I offer you a cup of tea? Actually, I enjoy very much spending time here with our customers and sharing a cup of tea or coffee. 
and enjoy each other's company. I'm always very happy when they can make it here to Rome. We are working with people all around the world, but when our customers have a chance to visit our Roman department, it's always a pleasure to host them here, to show them the city, to join them and share a dinner together and you know to, to feel this beauty and power as I said before of Rome. So me and Julian we are very passionate about researching information, about examining and we are more than happy always to share our knowledge with our customers. Watches in Rome is already more than 40 years old and it's actually always have been motto of uh, this company. Thank you for sharing this morning with me. Hope to see you soon in Rome and in watches in Rome. Cheers!